Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to handle another very crucial topic as you know, supply schedule and supply curve. Right, microeconomics is very important item of topic. Economics is core course, introductory economics, BBA and BCom is managerial economics. Very important item of topic. You can question sure I expect. We know the law of supply and also supply function right now we are going to discuss you know supply schedule and supply curve then what do you mean by schedule schedule you know that represents a table then supply schedule you know then the parallel topic on the demand schedule as well as demand curve then supply schedule and the volume it is a table that shows a positive relationship between price of the commodity and its quantity supplied okay and scheduled kanichittulla that is in a different prices quantity supply that is you know the quantities that a seller is willing and able to sell at different prices that shows in a table that simply known as supply scheduled okay then what about the supply curve that supply schedule that represent through a curve okay supply schedule ganichittulla positive relationship illa price and quantity supply graph il or paper il plot cheyidal then you will get supply curve we can simply say a supply schedule is a list of prices and quantities that means you know a supply schedule states the relation between price and quantity supplied right a supply schedule indicates the quantity producers wish to sell at each price then what about supply curve supply curve is the graphic representation of the supply schedule supply schedule you know a table that shows you know relationship between price of the commodity and its quantity supplied that is you know it is simply a list of prices and quantity supplied okay that is simply supply schedule then you know the graphic representation of this list or the graphic representation of supply schedule is known as supply curve right now we can just construct a hypothetical supply schedule and supply curve it is very very simple please listen see supply schedule price of the commodity x and quantity supplied okay quantity supply of x you can take commodity x that is in a very simple you can take your own example okay you can take your own example See, I would like to take the price like this, you know, symbol example 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay. See, at price, the quantity supply is 10 units. Right. When price increased from 1 to 2, then quantity supply of commodity X increased from 10 to 20. Right. That is, you know, there is a positive relationship between price and the quantity supply. And when price becomes 3, then quantity supply also, you know, 30. Then when price, you know, increased to 4, then quantity supply also increased to 40. And when price, you know, at 5, then quantity supply is 50. Isn't it? This is, you know, supply schedule. It is a list of prices and quantity supply. That is, you know, a direct or a positive relationship between price and quantity supplied that represented through a table then that is known as supply schedule here you know the price and the quantity supplied varies directly or positively that means when price increases quantity supply also increased now we can just represent this supply schedule in a graph then that is known as you know supply curve it is also very simple we can take supply curve okay it is also very simple here you know o x axis 
here you know quantity supply okay examine the explain same of axis variant horizontal axis measures quantity supply and vertical axis or oy axis represents price of the commodity price of the commodity in our example price of commodity x and quantity supply of commodity x here you know what about the price you know 1 2 3 4 and 5 then quantity supply we can see 10 20 30 40 and 50 isn't it we can just draw like this see this is the supply curve okay at price one you know it's quantity supply is 10 this is price two you know you can see 20 at price 3 we will get 30 and when price increased at 4 then quantity supply is 40 when price is 5 then quantity supply is okay this is about you know supply curve okay you can examine the two mark you can full values you can represent you can just draw like this see supply curve or x axis here you can see quantity supply and o y axis you know it is the price and this is the supply curve it is enough five mark you can see correct supply schedule you can mark it you can see it is clear clarity you can see it okay then we can explain this supply curve like this you know when price increases quantity supply also increases then what is the nature of supply curve here the supply curve here you know please note it is in you know, a positively sloped okay positively sloped and it is you know positively sloped from left to right okay upward sloping curve that is the correct term you can use it upward sloping curve okay confusion this is about you know supply schedule and supply curve now we can just take you know what about you know market supply schedule and market supply curve that is also very simple we can take this example see this is the there are two firms in the market and the firms are another see this is you know Quantity supply of A. A and the variant firm in the quantity supply. Now we can take, you know, C. Firm B. Then quantity supply. And this is, you know, market supply schedule. That is, firm A plus firm B. Then to firm in okay, add the money. See, B in the supply schedule in the bar in the C, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. You can take your own example, right? See, this is about, you know, market supply schedule. Market supply schedule, it is the summation of all commodities that are supplied by all firms or producers in a market. Okay, come on, all sellers supply summation you will get you know market supply. Simple market supply. Market supply represents the total supply that made by all producers or sellers in a market. Allow supply say in the quantity mother in the prices number schedule market supply schedule. The graphic representation of this market supply schedule, you know market supply curve right so this is you know we can take you see market supply schedule okay you know so the current data examine right then we can take the summation like this you know 10 plus 5 15 and 20 plus 10 30 30 plus 15 45 40 plus 20 60 50 plus 25 75 this is the you know market supply now we can just uh, take a market 
supply curve right market supply curve symbol see we can uh, for example you can also just uh, construct a market supply curve using this example as well right the supply of seller b at a price you know one here you know that is uh, five this point five price two you know that we come ten right then price three you know it become fifteen price three that is you know fifteen then price four that is uh, twenty then price five you know it is become twenty five 20 and 30 in the middle where the 25 then uh, we can just construct this curve represents you know supply curve of a and this curve represents you know supply curve of b okay demand supply now you know this is the just a summation we can take like this uh, see uh, 15 price 1 we will get 15 then uh, 30 30 then 45 then here you know 60 60 then here you know will become 75 okay this is the supply curve okay supply curve that means you know market supply curve right market supply curve right then there is a separate video say and then we are sit down simple it I will say the supply schedule supply curve at the end of horizontal summation at the telling will come to market supply schedule number two then market supply curve number two like this okay see this is the topic supply schedule and supply curve in the coming video we will discuss you know what are the major determinants of supply or what are the factors that uh, affect supply like you know price of the commodity state of technology price of factors of production and uh, its relationship like that okay